Hello everyone, Black Rose Duelist here, and today I'm talking about a Facebook comment I saw on Zodiac Duelist. Okay, now that I say that, that seems a bit desperate, doesn't it? Yeah, hey you guys, my name's Nico, um, I'm a professional uh, YouTuber. Uh, today I'm talking about a few uh, letters of text I found on a Facebook post on a Yu-Gi-Oh! group chat on Facebook. I mean, the game isn't that stale, but it's like, it's like the bread's about to be stale, okay? Like any day now. Expiration date is on the, is on the wagon, you know? It's, it's coming. Um, but like, we're on the verge of a new set. Uh, we should be getting a ban list like any day now. Could happen by the time I'm done making this video. Um, so, I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? So anyways, the Facebook comment... <laughs> The guy said, Draco Pals beat Monarchs, Monarchs beat Cosmo, and Cosmos beat Draco Pals. And he was insinuating that those are the top three decks. I'll say it again. Draco Pals beat Monarchs, Monarchs beat Cosmo, and Cosmos beat Draco Pals. Now, the first question I have for this and uh, kind of uncertainty is, number one, where does PK Fire, Phantom Knight, Brain Abyss fall into place? Because, if you don't know, uh, it's been topping a lot of regionals lately. Especially with Beatrice coming out and a lot of people realizing that Phantom Knights are a legitimate deck. So, they're doing just as good as these other three decks, so you can't just ignore that deck, right? Um, does it have an equal matchup to all three? Not really. Its Cosmo matchup is pretty bad. Uh, I think it, the Monarch matchup is decent enough. And I think the uh, Draco Pal matchup is actually pretty good. So maybe we can make a diamond instead of a, or a square, instead of a holy trinity of decks. Uh, my second question is, Monarchs brick pretty badly, so it doesn't necessarily always beat Cosmo. The Cosmo matchup is pretty good for Monarchs, but it's not great enough because monarchs always have that uncertainty of drawing a bad hand. Now every deck does the, does this. Any deck could be another deck. Ojamas could be Cosmos. Um, roids, vehicle roids could be Draco Pals. It just really depends and all these things are depending. But I was thinking he was more talking about um, just like advantages. So I agree that Draco Pals have a better matchup against Monarch, and Monarch has a good matchup against Cosmo, and Cosmo has a pretty good matchup against Draco Pal. But, that does not mean it's always 100% certainty. Oh, I'm playing Cosmo, I'm facing Draco Pals, I'm winning. That's not always the case. But, there are some advantages and disadvantages. Also, three minutes in, um, I apologize for this fan. I just don't want to say that now. I apologize. Um, I have some other questions for this comment. Nur, if this person's watching who commented, um... Hey, you got a whole video dedicated to yourself. I hope you're happy. Speaking of dedications, I have a shout out for Magician Gaming. He gave me a shout out in one of his videos without even asking or telling me or asking for one in return. I thought that was very, very kind. So, shout out to him. I'll have a link to his channel in the description below. Totally forgot. That was four minutes in. You know what happens, right? Just the most. Um... So yeah, I, I questioned more PK fire list. I wonder what's going to happen any day with the ban list now. I think the ban list will most likely target the Draco, not even Draco Pals, probably the Cosmo side of things. I think by this time, Burning Abyss got hit a bit. Um, if you put it deck to deck. I think this is when Tor, like about this time was when Tor Guide got hit for Burning Abyss. So maybe Cosmo Town might get hit to one, or Farm Girl to one. Who knows? I don't think Farm Girl to one would hurt them too much, though. I think Cosmo Town would do a pretty good job of hurting them. So once the ban list comes, how's that going to change? And the PK Fire and um, the Blue Eyes deck that's coming up, you know, Fear the Blue Eyes. But, um, yeah, I also, I just hate the Monarch in general. Because I feel like if you go Monarchs, and make it so your opponent can't summon monsters from their extra deck, how is Draco Pals gonna beat that? Like, I haven't really seen many duels with Monarchs because I generally just hate the deck and uh, I hate playing against it, so why would I watch it being played for fun? Because that's not fun. 
I'm kidding, but I'm not kidding. Like, I think they meant for it for people who are angry to play Monarchs. Now, I'm not being stereotypical to Monarch players, but, like, I feel like the people who are playing them either can't afford Cosmo or Draco Pals or just want to make people mad. And I'm not even talking about FTK Monarchs because that's a whole other type of mad. That's, like, five steps above. But there's some serious anger management issues I have towards Monarchs. Because, like, they play that one guy that makes it so your opponent can't use the facts. Then they make it so you can't summon from your extra deck. So now, what, I'm just going to pull out a Exodia from my deck? Like, so I guess Monarchs could beat Draco Pals pretty easily, too. And they can beat Cosmo easily. And Cosmos can beat Monarchs, too, if they brick bad, which they better. But honestly, like... Do any of the decks really seem that appealing in the top three? I think Draco Pals look the most appealing and the most fun out of the three. Monarchs just look like I'd be mad at myself if I played Monarchs. Just because they seem so anger-filled. Like, you can't do this, you can't do that. They feel like this strict step-parent. And then Cosmos. They never die. And once they do die, they come back stronger. And they're just annoying. I like the art of Cosmo, but sadly their play style isn't half as good as their art. And then Draco Pals, they're like cool. Like, they can put on performance. But Burning Abyss and Phantom Knights look the best and play the best and are the most fun. I really want Phantom Knights, but they're really expensive now. I'm probably just going to play pure Phantom Knights, or uh, pure Burning Abyss because I'm a scrub. But Beatrice is just like that card, you know? Like, Beatrice might be the best art style card in a while, in my opinion. But not only that, but she's great in terms of... What am I even... What is the... This video was based off of Facebook comments, so if you didn't expect it to diverge in some way, I apologize. These are just the type of videos I create. They're just gonna mamble on. I hope you're, like, clipping your fingernails or, like, toenails to this. Because, like... I talk to me. I enjoy conversation with myself. And that's all there is. That's a weird ending. Bye.